Hey there YouTube, I'm Joe and you're watching my channel Ink and Iron and today I have a review of a pouch that I've had for quite a long time. This is the Maxpedition Micro Pocket Organizer and uh, I mean I'm reviewing this today because I have had this for literally years, probably like seven or eight years. I have used it for various things and it's just a great way to organize stuff that you need to have around and to hand all the time. So let's get into it by talking about uh, the dimensions and what this is actually made of. So this is made by Maxpedition. They make hard use gear as you can see from their logo. Um, most of this is very high strength nylon. This is a 800 denier nylon fabric. Uh, denier describes the weight and durability I believe of nylon. If you know better than I do please comment below. But this is a highly abrasion resistant nylon. Uh, this is triple polyurethane coated for water resistance and also Teflon coated to prevent grime buildup. So even after seven or eight years of being tossed about and you know being on the floor a lot of the time, it really looks very good. And if you need to clean it, you take a damp cloth and you simply wipe it down. It's that easy. Um, the webbing up here is three quarters of an inch or 19 millimeters wide. It is high tensile strength webbing and it's an oversized, hand, oversized handle, excuse me. So if you have gloves on or something like that, you still have plenty of finger space to get in there and grab this thing. It's very, very convenient. Before I forget to mention, this does come in at least one other color. Um, I know you can get black or you can get a tan color that is actually not unlike the uh, carpet you see in the background here. It's like a desert tan. Uh, its original intention was to be carried in a pocket. However, I find it rides best in my sort of everyday carry bag. Uh, the zipper on here is made by YKK and did come with paracord for the pull, although I have replaced it myself and added a little bit of finer nylon line on there as well. Okay, now that we've got the dimensions and what the outside is made of, let's take a look at what we have in our front little mesh pocket. This is mesh, you can see through it. So I've got a Leatherman style uh, CS in here. This is the uh, scissors based one, but we're not going over the tools. I'm just trying to show you what you can fit in here. I find this uh, front pocket extremely useful for like little notes. Um, so here I have my notes for an upcoming review, a little preview there of a different Maxpedition product, but we'll go over that one in its own video as we open this up. YKK zipper has remained reliable for all the years that I've had it. Zips all the way around and then you can lay out the pouch like so. So how much stuff have we crammed in here? Well, there's a Keras Customs ink fountain pen. I put an aftermarket clip on there and this is a uh, titanium nib. Uh, this is the most extremely durable fountain pen I've ever found. So I'm going to set that to the side. Okay, we have a regular Sharpie marker. This is a permanent marker. Here we have about two meters or six and a half feet of paracord. All right, let's keep going. Here's a tactical flashlight. This is the Phoenix PD35 tactical version. Um, very reliable flashlight. I have a review that I will link below. Next up here, this is a full-size multi-tool. This is the Leatherman Surge. And uh, yeah, this is not an easy thing to fit most places. However, it does fit in this pouch with plenty of room to spare. Um, I also have several videos about the surge that you can find below. Here is an example of some keys. These are keys that I don't use anymore. So I have a uh, little pocket clip on these keys to keep it attached to this little fob right here. This does appear to be paracord stitched into the lining. And uh, yeah, it's not going anywhere. So if you have keys on a retractable lanyard, um, that could be pretty convenient to have around. And just for good measure, a little pry bar because you should never pry with something not intended to pry. So yeah, there's just an example of uh, what kind of stuff you can keep in this pouch. And uh, let's just talk real quick about what it has going on here. So there are two large pockets back here. You can see they extend all the way down to the full bottom of the pouch there. And so I like to put flatter items like keys and, uh, you know, maybe some paracord if it was a little more flat. Um, anything card sized, something like that will fit back there. Then we have elastic webbing on the front. And this is a one inch wide elastic webbing. Um, so about 25 millimeters 
this way. And then in terms of what we have here, these are one inch, one inch, one inch, and then one and a half inches, one and a half inches, or uh, 25 millimeters on these, and then th about 38 millimeters for these. So yeah, this is a very durably made pouch. Let me take these keys off so they're not jingling so much. Very durably made. Um, they have box and cross stitching on all of it. Everything's at least double stitched. Even the stitching in here, you can see it's doubled back on itself. This elastic has remained very stretchy for, uh, yeah, about seven years or so. And um, I will note that I don't keep things in this pouch all the time when I'm not using it. I take the things out to preserve the stretch on the elastic bands here. And uh, I would recommend that to be something you do. There's a little bit of wear showing right here, a little bit of fluffing. That tends to be what happens with this nylon material is it frays a little bit, but it doesn't really uh, rip. It doesn't start to tear very easily. Everything in here is very well stitched. Again, box stitching in here, more double stitching. This is non-elastic. This part is very firm. So yeah, very thin items can fit back in there. And then really nothing on the back side. So this is a very simple pouch, um, but very durably built. And uh, right now, if you go to Maxpedition's website, you can get two of these for $18.99 US dollars. So for $19 US, before shipping costs, of course, uh, you can get two of these pouches. So if you're even vaguely thinking about it, you can get one of these for about 10 bucks because you get two of them for about 20. So I think that's an excellent deal. And uh, like I said, I've had this for years and it looks just fine. It's a great organizer to uh, keep. If you have a cargo pocket that you could see needing this level of organization, it would be perfect for that. Um, it's also a great supplement to like a purse or a messenger bag, whatever you're carrying, you got going on. Um, this is a great way to keep small items organized because if I were to throw these into, you know, say just a big uh, dump pouch, some kind of bucket style bag, uh, I'd have to fish around a lot and, and try to find the items I was looking for. This is a great way to keep small items organized and uh, I do think it is feasible to carry in your pocket on your person. Um, we'll cut to a shot of that right now and see if I can do it easily. I'll put everything back in there. Is that a pouch in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> yeah, so my shorts bulge out quite considerably with this pouch in my pocket. It is it does fit in there with all this junk inside of it. But again, I think uh, probably tactical pants are gonna be the way to go because putting it in my normal shorts is pretty ridiculous. Um, as I said, I like to carry this in a bag rather than uh, by itself in my pocket. Okay, now that we've seen the pouch in my pocket, I'm gonna have to say I recommend using this as a supplement to a larger bag or maybe you know keep this in your vehicle um, something like that. I wouldn't keep this on my person, me personally, although I could see somebody pretty easily adding this to their uh, everyday carry that they keep on their person. Like you could pretty easily add a clip and you know dangle it off of yourself, or maybe you have a tool bag that you want to throw this in. It really is a very highly adaptable design, and that is why I highly recommend it. So um, yeah, the conclusion here is: is this worth it? Yeah, I think so. And especially since you can get two for one right now, um, I would go to the Maxpedition website and just go buy two of them. If you have the need for something small and easy to organize like this pouch, I really don't think you can go wrong with the uh, Maxpedition pocket organizer. So thank you for joining me. I've been Joe and you've been watching Ink and Iron. I do all kinds of EDC videos, pens, tools, uh, obviously fountain pens like you see here. Um, I have a thing for multi-tools and such as well, as well as uh, dedicated pocket knives, which is not represented in here, although you could pretty easily. All right, so if you like the channel content, give me a subscription and hit the bell to get notified when I upload new stuff. If you like this video, hit like, and uh, yeah, thank you for joining me, and uh, I will catch you on the next video. All right, bye.